Hi everyone, how is everyone doing today? Well, my name is Lucia. If you are new to my channel, I am a feminine energy coach and I'm also an expert in manifestation and dating. And in my channel, I always talk about these topics, about energy, universe, manifestation, relationships as well. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and on today's topic, I want to talk about how to know if something is meant for you. How can you feel it like if something is meant for you? Because oftentimes we see ourselves involved in things that we don't really want. But other times we want something, but we manifest resistance. And we think that it's not meant for us just because it's not being easy. But this can be that we are manifesting the resistance because we are afraid, because we have so many blockages. So in my case, what I notice is that when something is for me, it's just regardless of me wanting it, not wanting it, being afraid, not being afraid, it just follows. It's like, it's so easy, it's very effortlessly, and it just unfolds naturally. This is when I know something is meant for me. Also, usually I do a little prayer and I ask, ask the universe or God or whoever you believe in, you can ask to, if something is meant for you, to just make it easy and give you signs that is meant for you. So a sign for me can be that it's just working out perfectly. Like I don't have to do anything and there is always someone to help me to do it or I don't know, like suddenly you have ideas or people will come to you and help you out. This means that something is really meant for you. It's meant to be for you, sorry. And other times something is meant for us, but we are so scared and we have so many blockages that we believe is not for us. And then we manifest the resistance. So it can look like things not working out, um, it's like it's unfolding and it's taking a step by step, but it's going very slowly. For example, like you'll have technical problems. This happens so many times with me, but at the end it works. So it means it is for you. So another thing would be like, you're having technical problems. You, you do a little prayer uh, you calm yourself down and it still doesn't work then I would recommend you to wait like one day, two days, like keep on praying, keep on asking for guidance and just wait a little bit. But if you are doing something and you have a technical problem, for example, I'm using this example because it happens to me quite often. So you have a technical problem, but then you wait a bit, you calm yourself down, you do a little prayer, you click again on the website, and it works. And it's like, okay, this was me manifesting resistance. Can you see the difference? So oftentimes we manifest this resistance because we're scared, because we have blockages and everything. You can also ask for guidance to guide you, for example, what you need to work on in order to achieve what you wanna achieve, in order for you to be aligned to what you really want and desire. These are just little like examples and of course each case is totally different. But if you are having some doubts, um, you can also throw some cards from Tarot. I don't know if you like it or you know how to use it, but I found that it's very helpful as well. And it's a way to, uh, how can I say, to get in touch with your higher self, with your intuition. Also going into your heart, it always works. Uh, you can journal or you can just ask to dream about it. Before you're going to sleep, you can ask for the question and 100% I'm telling you, in the morning you'll have your answer. If something is meant for you or it is not. But always follow the signs. Always follow what your heart is telling you. Always follow just be with your eyes open and your ears open. Oftentimes, people will tell us things. We will 
hear something on the radio, on the music. Um, you just have to be smart and catch it. And yeah, I don't know if it's helpful this video for you. Give me a thumbs up. Also make any comment if you have any. I, I also want to announce that I have one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you are interested, just email me and my, well, my email is in the description box and I would love to talk to you. We can have an assessment call and see if we buy. And yeah, I'd love to coach you, of course. Talk to you soon. Bye.